Sean Fanning is an American computer programmer, serial entrepreneur, and angel investor. He developed Napster, one of the first popular peer-to-peer file-sharing platforms, in 1998. The popularity of Napster was widespread and Fanning was featured on the cover of Time magazine. The site in its initial free P2P incarnation was shut down in 2001 after the company's unsuccessful appeal of court orders arising from its encouraging the illegal sharing of copyrighted material. A paid subscription version of the site followed, and was purchased by Rhapsody on December 1, 2011. Following his involvement with Napster, he joined, and invested in, a number of early-stage technology startup companies. Computer Career, Napster on June 1, 1999, Fanning released a preliminary beta program of Napster and soon, hundreds of college students at Northeastern were up and trading music furiously. Snickup, in 2002, Fanning was named to the MIT Technology Review Trail 100 as one of the top 100 innovators in the world under the age of 35. In 2003, he opened a new company, Snickup, along with Jordan Mendelssohn and Ron Conway. The company aspired to be a legitimate marketplace for digital media. However, their partners and the public did not respond well. Customer support was poor, and technical issues were numerous. One of their primary partners, CD Baby, wrote a scathing account of their relationship. In late 2007, Snickup laid off 60% of its workforce. Ballywag wrote an article that Fanning had long left Snickup and began to work on another venture. Rupture. The Valley Wag article stated that the failure was largely due to Snickup's CEO Rusty Ruiff and that of former CTO Dave Rowley, who made a mess of engineering before he was fired. Snickup was looking to sell itself and fast. In 2008, they found a buyer. Emim acquired Snickup in a fire sale. Rupture, the Rupture project was announced in late 2006 with seed funding and crunch base notes the date Sean officially became CEO of Rupture was October 2, 2007. In December 2006, Fanning developed Rupture, a social networking tool designed to handle the task of publishing gamers' individual profiles to a communal space and facilitating communication between World of Warcraft players. Rupture was later acquired by Electronic Arts for $15 million. Fanning's career at Electronic Arts was short-lived as a round of layoffs in November 2009 included him and his team at Rupture. Path, a few months after Fanning was laid off from Electronic Arts, he started a new company called Path.com. In January 2010, Dave Morin announced he was leaving Facebook, where he was a senior platform manager, to join Fanning and become CEO at Path. In popular culture, in 2000, Fanning appeared as a presenter at the MTV Video Music Awards. He appeared wearing a Metallica t-shirt with For Whom the Bell Tolls playing in the background, and when asked where he got it, stated, a friend of mine shared it with me. Lars Ulrich's reaction was shown as feign boredom. In October 2000, Fanning was featured on the cover of Time magazine. In 2003, Fanning had a cameo appearance, playing himself, in the 2003 film The Italian Job. In the film, Seth Green's character accused Fanning of stealing Napster from him while he was taking a nap in their Northeastern University dorm room. Although other characters see this as mere bragging, a scene shows Fanning in fact creeping over Green's sleeping body. In early 2008, Fanning appeared in a Volkswagen commercial directed by Roman Coppola, in which he poked fun at his file-sharing past. Fanning and his side Napster were the subject of Alex Winter's documentary downloaded in 2013. References External links, Sean Fanning on Facebook, Sean Fanning at the Internet Movie Database, Rupture, Path.